And now we have our roving reporter, Hulda Thompson. Hulda will be sitting down with Marion Porterfield. Uh, Marion Porterfield will be talking about her swearing in in her historic seat on the city council as the first African-American woman to sit on the Schenectady City Council. Let's watch this one. It was indeed history in the making, and the Rolling Reporter was there to capture the swearing in ceremony of Miss Miriam Porterfield as the first female African American councilwoman for the city of Schenectady. I'm Marion Porterfield, who solemnly swear that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of the city council of the city of Schenectady to the best of my ability, so help me God. Welcome again to our show. Thank you, Hulda. Thank you for having me here. Again, congratulations, councilwoman. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now tell me, what does it mean to be a history maker? Well, I, I guess for me, it really, it, in order, to, it, in addition to being a history maker, it also, I feel, it, it makes me sort of a vanguard, a person that I need to set the stage for other young women, African American mm -hmm. women, or people of color, mm -hmm. to be able to also to serve in the capacity. Um, whether it be city council or any other legislative body mm -hmm. in the city or county of Schenectady. Prior to me becoming councilwoman, mm -hmm. uh, there was Mr. Joe Allen, yes. who served 16 years. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so he was the first African-American like male he, yeah. right, mm -hmm. on the city council. Mm -hmm. So um, since it was chartered in 1798, as I said, 214 years, um, there's been two of us. Yes. So, so it has been a while. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. The current body, the way the government is now, the city council, that actually came into existence in 1935 to okay. put that into perspective okay. for okay. people. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. still a long time. Talk to me about your relationship with the mayor. Well, um, I think the mayor and I have a really good relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, we worked on his campaign. Uh -huh. uh, I worked with the community yes. to get him into office mm -hmm. because we feel that he's going to be a very fair mayor and mm -hmm. to do the, the right thing and to make sure that the city, um, whether it's through employment and in every way, reflects the diversity yes. that really makes up the city of Schenectady. Mm -hmm. So we have a good relationship, a good working relationship, a very open relationship and honest about, mm -hmm. you know, do, do we always agree on everything? Absolutely not, mm -hmm. and who will? Exactly. But we have the ability to be able to sit down and talk about the areas mm -hmm. that maybe we don't necessarily agree on, but we can come together and make a decision that's best for the citizens of Schenectady. And he said that he's known you since high school? <laughs> he always says that. <laughs> but <laughs> that's do, you, do you remember him from high school? Um, I can't say that I do. Okay, it, was okay. a, it was a pretty big school. Yes, so, yes, yes. But he, he reminded mm -hmm. me of that, like, you know, when I, when, um, a few years ago, because mm -hmm. even before working with him as, as mayor and as a city council person, mm -hmm. working with him uh, when he was in DA's office. So I've um, been working with him some in the community, let's say, for, for a number of years, mm -hmm. because uh, a community work is really what I love to do. Again, it's a uh, historic day. It's a uh, proud day for Schenectady. There was some discussion and debate uh, on who should fill this seat. Uh, I think there's nobody as well qualified as Marion Porterfield. It was the seat I held on the city council before being elected mayor. I've known her since high school. She has a broad working knowledge of this community. She has broad support and she's going to add uh, a level of dignity and problem, problem solving to the city council that we need and the residents should demand. What does a council person do? You know, what is the role of a councilman, okay. a councilwoman in a city? Okay. Um, a council per member's uh, role and responsibility is really to be a policy maker. Okay. To um, make decisions on the laws and the um, ordinances and things like that that govern the city. Mm -hmm. So, but it's also important that we do it in the best interest of the citizens. So for me, mm -hmm. it, it represents what I just said, being okay. a policymaker, mm -hmm. but it also represents making sure I represent the interest of the people yes. and connecting with the people to find out what those interests are. Mm -hmm. to, so to be going out to speaking to people, to having them come, um, whether it be town council meetings or whatever form, to hear what they have to say. Going back to the ceremony, this mm -hmm. it was a full house. Yes, it was. I mean, it was hot, <laughs> but it was a full house. I was so happy to see so many faces. Yes. Uh, city people, council people, mm -hmm. uh, clergy that was there, not just uh, of all races. Yes. You mm -hmm. know, and I was so glad that there were people from the uh, Guyanese community mm -hmm. represented, um, different clergy represented, mm -hmm. and they talked about you know you being a person that was that is 
such a community person mm -hmm. that you have worked with the Weed and Seed program. You've done so much stuff to get here. So this is not something that just happened overnight. Right. But you have, as they would say, paid your dues uh -huh. you know, <laughs> to get here. And what uh, what motivates you to be, you know, in this, you know, to be such a com community community person? You know, when I think about that and how I ever got started in that, and I have to say it was really my mother okay. who, because she was very in, um, involved in the community, mm -hmm. she just, it was just a natural thing to bring her children along, mm -hmm. and specifically me because I have uh, five brothers and sisters, but I'm the only one who still lives in Schenectady, okay. along to participate in the things that she was doing. Mm -hmm. And I began to have a love for community wow. work and a love for people. Mm -hmm. And so that was just a, a natural thing to continue in doing. I think that uh -huh. is so awesome. So we have to talk about having your mom standing uh -huh. there. And your mom is a reverend. Reverend mm -hmm. Diana Fletcher. She was standing there. There uh -huh. she was with the Bible. Uh -huh. And then to have Ralph Boyd, right. who's such a wonderful man. Uh -huh. <laughs> we love him in spite of. <laughs> And, um, you know, I personally got to know him just recently and okay. was so glad to see that transition of history in the making. Uh -huh. And he's the first African-American uh, Schenectady Patroon. Mm -hmm. So for me, that was important. That was mm -hmm. why I chose Ralph Boyd to be mm -hmm. the person that swore mm -hmm. me in because yes. I was trying to connect all those pieces exactly. of history exactly. that, um, that represent, you know, mm -hmm. what, what has um, been accomplished by African-Americans, I have to say. Place, yeah. By the power invested in me, I announce you Member of the City Council of Talk to me about how important it was for to have as your guest Paul Tonko. Now he spoke for ten minutes. Uh -huh. or more uh -huh. on cities uh -huh. and the importance of having a tapestry that represents all, you know, that's, that's a fair representation of everything. And what, what did it mean to you to have him there? Well, it meant a lot, and that was one of the reasons I early asked the congressman, because mm -hmm. I know his beliefs, and I know that he knows the importance of, of the tapestry. Mm -hmm. Mosaic is what he yes, loves to that's say. that's the word he uses, um, yes. And how mm -hmm. important it is to have that mosaic represent, you mm -hmm. know, the mm -hmm. people that um, we're, we are representing. Yes. So it was important for me to have him here. Um, my community loves uh, Congressman Tonko because he brings that to the forefront and tries mm -hmm. to make sure that everyone is represented. Well, it's wonderful to um, have Marion Porterfield with her background, her experience, her intellect, and her compassion and passion to get things done. Um, to have her join the table of leadership for this wonderful community only builds greater success, greater vibrancy for all the people. She um, is a powerful force. She has enabled people transitioning into the workforce through her bottomless closet. She has showed tremendous empathy. She has inserted dignity into the equation for far so many people. And um, has also, through her Weed and Seed program, understood that we can do our individual best to restore life into our given streets, neighborhoods, and our greater community. So it's that sort of walk in life that brings itself to this table and adds to the mosaic of Schenectady, which reflects the greater community. And I think her assuming the mantle of leadership with Mayor McCarthy and her fellow council members will be uh, a very rewarding experience, not only for Marion, but for the community at large. Finally, before we end, um, let's talk about you, know, you being a, what they say, you are a sitting um, councilwoman. Yes. And what does that mean? Well, that means, as we said, that I'm, I'm currently on the council mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. um, I will be I'm helping with the policy making mm -hmm. and to make sure that um, I review all the things that are put before us, hear what the citizens have to say as mm -hmm. they come to the rail mm -hmm. and be and try to um, affect those changes mm -hmm. that would make, you know, make our citizens happy, mm -hmm. glad to live here, um, work on issues that, that are major for people like taxes, I have to say, is yes. one of the things. So to look at those kind of things and to work with my fellow council people, Mm -hmm. for us to come to a, um, a consensus of how we can work together to make things work better in okay. Schenectady. So mm -hmm. th those are my roles and responsibilities mm -hmm. and, you know, mm -hmm. as I said, going out and working with the public as well. So. Okay. so does that mean that you have to go to campaigning in November again? 
Yes. Now, okay. I've been appointed, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I will have to run again. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, I will be running again in this November. So okay, I'm so gearing up for a campaign. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So when does your campaign begin or... You know, you're still basking in this for now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> basking, but doing other things. Yes, yes, um, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, the petitions come out. We have to get petitions signed to get us on okay. the ballot. Mm -hmm. They come out in June. Okay. But prior to that, I'm already doing things, attending community events, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. talking to people, holding fundraisers. Right. Because uh, in anticipation of, of running in November, mm -hmm. we can't wait until, uh, you know, September exactly, to start that. Exactly, exactly. So that process has already started. Wonderful, uh -huh. wonderful. So again, we've been talking with Marion Porterfield, the newly elected councilwoman Appointed. for the city of, a uh, newly appointed, <laughs> you know, councilwoman for the city of Schenectady. I am your Roving reporter, Hulda Thompson. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.